Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing a DFS slate preview for the NHL slate this evening. It's a very, very large slate, and it's sort of an early look. I'm working off of early projections, but again, the, the purpose of the early looks uh, videos is more to go through the process of how to you know, how to analyze the sheets, how to build lineups, and how to use Saber Sim and the contest sims to you know tailor your lineups to a particular contest. Now we're going to use the slate this evening as, as an example of that. Um, but uh, more to the point, it, it will hopefully help you develop a process that you can go back to where you don't have to ever come back to these videos. Again. Now I'd like to think that we still teach you a little something each time, but uh, it's really not that difficult. I mean, you have to have the tools available to you and know how to use them. And I'm learning just like everybody else is in this universe, you know? And I'm just gonna share my process with you as it develops. So what you have here, by the way, is just my first <laughs> my first look at late last night before I even looked at salaries or anything. I'm salaries before I looked at projections or anything. This seemed like what I would what I would do, knowing nothing about anything else. A 14 game slate. Uh just I just presume that. LA home against San Jose was going to be a really good spot. And uh, this would be a good way to play, but that really doesn't mean too much. Let's first start with the, uh, the team totals. And again, the, the, the purpose of this is to try to make a big slate small, you know, it's a 14 game slate, 28 teams. Um, let's see if anybody stands out with respect to team totals, Toronto at three, eight, um, I imagine someone's got to be above four. Yeah, Jersey, 4.3. Um, Dallas, 3.8. What about LA? Are they going to be over? Bang oh, Vegas, 3.9. And the LA, hey, look at that. Good job, Sheets. I figured it out. So LA at 4.2. And Toronto, not Toronto, and Jersey at 4.3. So those are the two teams that are over four. So if I had to guess which two teams are going to project the best, I would say LA and Jersey. Now, again, it's a salary game, so it doesn't mean we can get the, the requisite players into our lineups, but at least it's a start. Let's, uh, before we get into the players, actually, let's, we're going to go backwards. Let's first look at the stack tools and see how these teams stack up, so to speak. So what we're looking at here are rankings three different ways. One by raw points on the left, one in the middle by points per dollar, which is value, and the other, which is modified, which is a derivative of Sheets value score, which I'll describe some other time, but it, it's a combination of both uh, point per dollar and just raw points. Now, when we rate these by raw points, you're getting Toronto up at the top, then Colorado, then a pretty decent sized drop to the others. When you're rated by point per dollar, you're getting the aforementioned LA Kings, followed by Minnesota and the aforementioned New Jersey Devils. And then when you sort by modified, you're getting Toronto, Colorado again, followed by the aforementioned New Jersey Devils. So it looks as though uh, the team that's shown up in, in we've already mentioned them six times are the New Jersey Devils. They have a good team total. They're one of the only ones above four. They look good in raw points. They're okay in value and really good in modified. So without even looking at the players, I would imagine that New Jersey would be the top overall stack. And it's also worth noting that LA rates at the top point per dollar stack in a game where they have the highest team total. So they're probably going to be really strong as well. So I would say without even looking at the players yet or running anything that some combination of LA and Jersey would be a th something you could do because listen, if LA rates high as far as points per dollar, I imagine they're cheap. So you can maybe even pair them with the devils. So now let's pull up the actual individual players and see if any of that makes sense. All right, um, we're rating the players here by Sheets value score. Um, so let's just step back and see if any of the teams we've mentioned have guys that are in this in this 
on the sheet here. So it looks as though, yes, we are seeing the devil's guy here at 9,500, but you, not really anybody else. So it doesn't look like you can get to the devil's as easy as you would think. Um, not as easy as you would think, as easy as you would like. Hershire, Hershire looks pretty good down here. But aside from that, I really don't see the devil standing out as a stackable, as a top stackable option. But yet on the other hand, I don't see anything else either. You know, I see Matthews at 10K with Tavares, probably tough to get to. McKinnon 9-7 with Najuska, probably tough to get to. You have Eck with Kaprizov, probably tough to get. Wow, these are really expensive. This is going to be a tough slate. Win a couple of Winnipeg's, maybe, maybe a couple of St. Louis's, not really. I guess Winnipeg would be the closest thing to an affordable stack that rates well because at least you have Ellers here and oh, hella bucks a goalie, that didn't even count. And there's Velarde and there's Morrissey. So unfortunately, we try to make it seem easy, but it's just going to require us to use Sabres in the bill for us. Unless we do one thing. Let, let's. What if we sort it by point per dollar just for the hell of it? I mean, this is all well and good, but the problem is with the points per dollar is that you don't really get guys from like the top lines. So you really can't get away with rating them that way. So I guess, unfortunately, we're just kind of stuck in having Sabersim help us out today which is okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I really wouldn't even know where to start as far as building a hand lineup, given the way value looks right now. I mean, you look at this, I don't even see, like normally I would see some cheapo that rated well up here. I guess Hershire. And then I guess the Winnipeg guys, Ellers, Bellardi, Morrissey, that's like the closest thing that I could come up with are those three Winnipeg guys. So let's pull up Sabersim, I guess, and see uh, see what we can do. Um, oh. Okay, so where's Sabersim here? So it looks as though the pricing has has stumped me as far as a hand builder goes. So we're going to be relying on our tools to get this done for us. Upload our projections. We're clicking exclude unlisted players. These three guys are already out. So let's Again, we'll deal with this later. But again, this is process. We're going to do this exact same thing if we were half hour to post. We try to build by hand, see what it looks like. If we can't, go straight to Sabres. So everything's uploaded. We'll build 50 lineups, I guess. Again, more to the point, we're building 5,000 lineups. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at things two different ways. First, we're going to just rank these guys by Saber score, which is, you know, Saber Sims way of combining both points, upside, correlation, and things like that. Then what we're going to do, we're going to upload these to our contests, and then we're going to do contest simulations where we compare these 5,000 lineups to what we believe the field will do, hopefully giving us uh, a different set of lineups that will provide us with a little more leverage especially in those, you know, high entries, the high entry fees, but high number of entry type lineups. We'll save our settings where we will tell the algorithm how many lineups, you know, how many entries we're up, up against, and then kind of let the Sims do their thing. But let's just first build with our, just our regular projections, use Xamer score and see what we get. I'm curious what they do. Maybe at the end of the day, they just play the devils and find a way to jam them in. Yeah, no. Oh, look what they came up with. All the Rangers. What do I know, right? 
So let's take a look and see what this looks like. So in 50 lineups, we would be getting to, well, well, first of all, let's look at stack exposure. This actually is not that bad. You know, you're getting the majority of these are very pure five twos. I'd probably X out the five zeros. Um, on a big slate, I just want to find the team that goes off and get the full stack and, and the correlation on the other side um, with the other part of the lineups. We'll, we'll deal with that in a second. But under team stacks, 74% Rangers. So the first thing we'll do, well, let's do this first. Let's take out the five zeros. We'll take out the three two twos. We'll take out the four twos. We'll just leave in the four threes and the five twos and the sixes. I mean, we could go the five zeros, right? And what's really the difference? All right, let's leave in the five zeros for now. If they really like these. We'll hit apply. And let's have to pause you for just a sec. All right, sorry. So you have good stacks, five, two, five, sixes, four, threes. But we still have all these rangers, but that's okay. Let's let's um let's first go min unique. So let's go min uniques three. Uh kind of crunches things up a little bit, but this is okay because we're not even using this. We're we're gonna be uh uploading these for now to our contest file, which I saved in DraftKings. And then we're going to right click here, add contest sim. I like that 20K for first in the lottery tonight. Save all these settings so that when we run these contest sims, which we're going to do right now, it's going to hopefully, if it does what it's supposed to, it's going to calculate what types of lineups the field is playing, figure out from our 5,000 lineups that we created, which ones are best suited to go into which contests. Hey, look, here are some of the ones I mentioned. Devils, Winnipeg. All right, I remember them. For whatever reason, I didn't get to the Rangers. But let's just see. I'm, I'm betting, by the way, that when we run the contest sims, it's going to come up with a completely different team as the top exposed team. It's just the way it goes in uh, in DFS hockey sims. Let's take a look. Kick save, risk adjusted ROI. That's how I want to do this. Let's see what we get. Ready? Whoa. Yep. All the Ottawa. Just like we thought. And how much Rangers? Like nothing. What a country, right? This, this, this is what actually gives me faith that it's actually taken into account what we think the field's going to do before recreating these lineups. And I'm down with this. Ottawa against Toronto, full leverage. Let's go. And and for me, I don't mess with this. Like if I get builds like this, especially in the lottery. I am not messing with this one bit, uh, but I, I do have to get rid of these. Again, I always go back to make sure they get the stack exposures that I want. And in this case, you could probably get rid of the five zeros. Obviously, we're going to get rid of the no stacks. Oh, they're already in there. Four two twos, get rid of them. Let's see if that changed the team stacks. Nope, still mostly Ottawa, then Minnesota. That's that's pretty good for the for the lottery, I have to say. But again, this is early. All the projections will change, but this is the process that I'm going to use when we get there. Um, and I'll get, let's look at the energy line, see what that looks like. Looks a little bit different. More Minnesota, which is fine. And in the satellite, 
we'll save here. Now, again, this is not going to be what the lineups look like, but this is what they look like now. <laughs> uh, and once we get to lock, this is the exact process that I'm going to use, and it's the one that you should use too. Now, again, well, I should, okay, I shouldn't say it. that. That sounded terrible. I'm not saying it's the one you should use. This is, this is what I do. And I don't know if this is right. I mean, it's not 100% right. Otherwise, everybody would do it. This is my, the way that I like to use the combination of tools at my disposal. I like the work we put into the sheets. I like the, the Saberson lineup builder. And I think this is a pretty good start. I meant that. So let's uh, save these for now. I'm going to do this all over again at lock. And again, you have to have, I think, the mental fortitude when you run the contest sims, especially with hockey, to accept what you get. I mean, unless you're really like a super expert with with knowing hockey. This is NBA, by the way. This is, this is, like, here's an example. I just did an NBA video when we went through all this, and the entire slate changed as soon as I hit enter. Like now all the Brooklyn guys are out. So we have to redo all this. And we'll redo it 100 times before now, between now and lock. But uh, that'll do it for the hockey for today. Um, we're going to go live at 6. I can't promise that we can get to hockey at all. So, you know, Bobby will monopolize it with the NBA. But that's fine. NBA pays more. Uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.